Hey, what is up everybody? Josh Quinones here. So today we are going to be doing a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, both phones alone are a beast. You cannot go wrong with either of them. But today we are going to put them head to head to see which one is the fastest. So on the left side, the Galaxy S10 Plus, we are running the new Snapdragon 855 processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM. And then on the right side, we got the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, which is running the older Snapdragon 845 processor with 6 gigabytes of RAM. And then on the top left corner, we got my boy Flash because today's video is all about speed to find out which one of these is the fastest. And we will also test out RAM management as well. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and start with powering on the devices. Let's see which one will boot up first. So let's go ahead and go in three, two, one. Here we go. And it looks like the Galaxy S10 Plus is just a little bit ahead so far, but we will find out right now. Let's just wait a little bit longer. One of them should boot up just a little bit faster than the other. And here we go. The Galaxy S10 Plus looks like it is going to finish first. We also got to wait for the T-Mobile logo on the Galaxy Note 9 because this is the T-Mobile version. This one is unlocked, but the Galaxy Note 9 was not that far behind. So I'm going to go ahead and start the test off a little bit easy. We're going to start off with the phone dialer, see which phone will open that up first. And then I got other apps set up for the test as well. Also got a couple of games. I got my video editor here. I went ahead and took a 30 second 4K video on both. And we're going to see which one will produce the video in 4K first. And they are also both running on the same Wi-Fi network. So it should be fair for the most part. So let's go ahead and start with the phone dialer in three, two, one. And it was a lot faster on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Let me go ahead and press home. The next we will do the settings in three, two, one. Faster on the S10 Plus. Let's go home. Next is the camera in three, two, one. And it looks like it was just a little bit faster on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Let's go home. And next let's do the calculator in three, two, one. And just a little bit faster on the S10 Plus. Let's go ahead and do a little addition problem here. 78 plus five equals 83. So let's go ahead and leave it like that. And hopefully it'll be just like this when we come back to the app later. Let's go ahead and press home. Okay, next we are going to open the browser. Like I said, they are both running on the same Wi-Fi network, so should be fair for the most part. So let's go ahead and open it in three, two, one. And it looks like it finished first on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. They are both scrolling smoothly though. Let's go ahead and go to samsung.com on both of these. Samsung.com samsung.com okay in three two one oh wow they both finished just about the same time it was a kind of hard to tell you guys let me know your thoughts down below who which phone you think finished fast with this test right here but they both seem to be scrolling very smooth no lag at all let's go ahead and go to one of the links here let's see galaxy fold learn more three two one and it looks like Ah, they both look kind of say it looks like it was going to finish first on the Note 9, but then the Galaxy S10 Plus caught up a little bit, but it looks like it was very close for the most part. So let me go ahead and press home. All right, so let's go on to the next one, which is a game right here. Temple Run in 3, 2, 1. And it looks like the S10 Plus might have the edge on this one. And yes, the S10 Plus actually finished a lot faster than the Galaxy Note 9. So let me wait for both of these to start up. All right, and let me go ahead and press play on both of them. There we go. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Go ahead and press home and we'll come back to this later. All right, the next one is Twitter. Let's see which one will open Twitter first in three, two, one. And it looks like the S10 Plus was first before the Galaxy Note 9, not that far behind. Both scrolling smoothly. Let me go ahead and press home on both of these. All right, let's go ahead and press home. The next one is the gallery in three, two, one. Faster on the S10 Plus. Next is YouTube in three, two, one. And wow, it actually looks like they both finished at the same time, but the S10 Plus did start playing this ad just a little bit faster than the Galaxy Note 9. So let's go ahead and go home. Next is Asphalt 9. Now this is a big game to load. So let's see which one loads it up faster in three, two, one. 
All right, looks like the S10 Plus is just a little bit faster so far with the Note 9, not too far behind. Let's see which one finishes first. Oh, and the S10 Plus one just by a little bit starting up the game. So let me go ahead and press play on both of these. I guess I gotta pick a level here. And next, I wanna play a game to see if it will continue playing when we come back to this app later. So play on both of them. Let's see which one starts playing first. So it's loading up right now. And it looks like the S10 Plus is going to start playing first. Yep, starting three, two, one. This one's barely starting the countdown here. So let me go ahead and go back home. And next will be Subway Surfers in three, two, one. And it looks like it's going to finish on the S10 Plus first, but you never know, the Note 9 could catch up. Oh, it hasn't even started loading. Okay, there it is. Go ahead and just uh, go ahead and pick one. Press OK. I guess I forgot to do all this before I loaded the game, but it did load first on the S10 Plus. So let me go ahead and press play on both of them. And then we'll come back to this. Let me go and press home. Okay, next is Power Director, the video editor that I use for all my videos. In three, two, one. Let's see which one opens it up first. And it looks like it's going to be the S10 Plus. Yes, the S10 Plus finished first. So let me go ahead and start a video. Okay, okay. Go ahead and go into camera on both of these. We'll do my 30 second video that I picked for both of these. I recorded in 4K. Let me go ahead and use original. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back, back, back. Alrighty, so the 4K video is loaded up on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and produce it. Produce video. Go here, Ultra HD 4K, Ultra HD 4K. So let's go ahead and see which one produces the 4K video the fastest in three, two, one. And it is loading up, it is producing it. Let's see which one finish, finishes first. It looks like the Galaxy S10 is ahead, 40% compared to the 30 something percent on the Galaxy Note 9. So you can see just how fast this phone is, especially if you want to produce 4K video on your phone after editing it, it looks like the Galaxy S10 Plus is going to handle it a lot faster. Look at this one is still loading up, this one is complete. So yes, the Galaxy S10 definitely won that test by a long shot let me go ahead and press ok so let's go ahead and press home on both of these now this is where we test out the ram management to see which phone was able to keep both all the apps running in the background without having to start over again so let's go all the way back to the beginning open up the phone dialer okay we know that's good let's go back to settings we know that oh this one did have to load it up again let's go back go to the camera both are good with that let's go to the calculator still good with that but still opening faster on the galaxy s10 plus now let's go over to the internet here we go both still good both still scrolling smooth no problems there let's go back to the game in three two one Ooh, okay so it's good on here we can resume the game on the s10 plus but on the Note 9, we do have to start over. That's not looking too good for the Note 9. Okay, let's go ahead and go over again. Let's go to Twitter. Looking good, back where we started. Let's go to the gallery, back where we started. And the YouTube is looking good as well. And let's go to the asphalt game. Now this was the big game. So let's see which one was still able to keep it running in the background in three, two, one. Ooh, and it actually had to start over on both of them. So not even the S10 Plus was able to keep it running in the background. So yeah, there you go. They both had to load it up. Let's see what else we got. Let's go all the way. Subway Surfers in three, two, one. Oh wow, so they were both actually able to save Subway Surfers and we are able to resume the game. So that is good with that. Let's see what else we got on here. And video producer, back where we started. So let's go home. And it looks like the winner of this speed test is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So it just goes to show you how much improvement there has been from the Galaxy Note 9 that actually isn't even that old yet. It's about maybe six months 
older than the Galaxy S10 Plus. So it does show a lot of improvement coming from this to this, but you cannot put the Galaxy Note 9 down at all because this is still a beast of a phone. It still performs good, still performs very snappy as you can see there. And it handled the apps good, just a little bit slower than what we had on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. This is running good as well, but I got to give the win to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus as fast as the Flash right there. There we go, my boy Flash. But yes, the winner is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. But you all let me know your thoughts down in the comments sections below. Let me know what you thought of this speed test and if there's any other speed tests you would like to see or any other videos that you want me to do with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus or even the Galaxy Note 9. Let me know your thoughts down below, you all. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a huge thumbs up on this video if you did like it and find it helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any other future videos to come. You guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Josh Quinones, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.